1-800-TCM-1002. Hi, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Tonight, we're paying tribute to a comedian and performer who has influenced generations over the last century, that man, W.C. Fields. Joining me to talk about Fields' career and life is a leading authority on him. It's his granddaughter, Dr. Harriet Fields. Welcome back, Harriet. Thanks Thank for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. In our last movie, it's W.C. Fields in an all-star cast. Lionel Barrymore, Edna May Oliver, Basil Rathbone, Elsa Lanchester, Roland Young among them. It's David Cofferfield, released by MGM in 1935 with Freddie Bartholomew in the title role. So this is uh, not like the other no. W.C. Fields movies. Where, where, how do you think of David Copperfield in the, again, in the whole scheme of, of your grandfather? You know, I hope I can relate this with composure because whenever I see this film, I, I, can't leave the, I can't leave my seat for 10 or 15 minutes later and then I'm emotionally raw for the rest of the day. I love this film. I love W.C. Fields in it. W.C. Fields loved Charles Dickens. And W.C. Fields was self-educated. So he, and I think we have that collection. He had all of Dickens. He had all of Mark Twain. He was, he was tremendously well-read, tremendously well-taught. And W.C. Fields respected Dickens so much that there's no ad-libbing of Wilkins Micawber. I think, first of all, I think W.C. Fields should have won an Academy Award. How do you think W.C. handled working in a movie like this, so which is so different than right. his, a stand. This is not really a, this is not a W.C. Fields movie. Right. He's part of an ensemble cast, a critical part. Uh, you already said that he he wouldn't change no. the words the way that he was comfortable changing the script and ad libbing in his right. movies. How would he have handled this differently? And would he have been would he have been comfortable uh, just as part of an ensemble cast rather than? The star, the focus of the attention. Well, he did handle it, didn't he? And he yes. handled it uh, beautifully. And you notice he's the top build building. Yes, he's the top build. W.C. Fields. That's how he handled it. <laughs> and you know, uh, after the the film, Will Rogers, his dear friend, wrote him. He said, "You know, you should get an Academy Award." Max Sennett said, "You should get an Academy Award." Uh, I think he also said that about the bank dick. Uh, Uriah Heep. Now, we can share this at the end as yeah. well. He wrote. Uh, he said, I, I, "I saw the screening of it." He said. To WC, he said, "You you took you stole the film. You stole the film, and he did. Those are to me profound moments of WC. I mean, of yeah, course, it's Dickens' words, but it's WC's acting. Because that's Roland Young saying you yes. stole. Those are those are real actors saying you. Isn't you, that lovely? You stole the scene. And you yeah. know what? That's one thing. The, the, the actors WC worked with, they were generous to each other. And that's a generosity of spirit, you know, to be able to say that. To set your ego aside and say you stole the show." And it, I mean, it's honest and it's true. And again, W.C. didn't have an ego. He wanted, you know, we have a, a letter also from Madge Kennedy. This might go at the end as well. I mean, Madge Evans, who played Agnes. And she said, Lionel Barrymore and W.C. Fields, they were stronger than life actors. She said they were extraordinary. And she said the other actors could feel their presence. And we really responded to that. I think is lovely. Yeah, well, to be put in the same sentence with Lionel Barrymore and, and when talking about acting, that that is quite something. Yes. Harriet, thank you very much. Let's watch the movie from 1935, directed by George Cukor, nominated for Best Picture. Here's David Copperfield. <laughs> 